Hello everybody once again, this is Akaba Kazuya. Welcome back to another show match between Belfry, a gladiator, up against Kiyame, a sniper. I think Kiyame is the correct name to pronounce, or is it Kayame? So, Kayame sounds more feminine to me, so I'll stick to Kayame here. But right now, Belfry is already on the attack here on Kiyame. I think I'll stick to Kiyame now. So, Swift Shot timing here very well, and a side kick that a bit early rage from Kiyame. Extremely well done from her once again. The charge shot in the face of Belfry as well, as she backs out away from the counter exile here. But her triangle shot previously I think could have been more accurate here as she misses But look at that, a fixed shot once again flinching Belfry as she seemingly is pinning Belfry down Even with the stunning shot there and the anchor shot there, nicely dodged by Belfry with a jump, the charge shot as well But the switch shot timing for Kiyame once again used very well But impact punch to the face from Belfry here, so Belfry do enough But look at that, the air evasion timing from Kiyame once again extremely well timed to prevent the line drift from hitting her at all Triangle shot this time is good, aeration shot as well to force the relief Oh, another charge shot to the face of Belfry and his, as he's down to like 15% HP She has 71% HP right now, she's doing extremely well, even the flower is out right now That's one tick from the flower, two more ticks and you're excellent, I think Belfry will be dead That's the second tick here, as time is ticking for Belfry and the third tick will definitely kill him Look at that, the third tick of the flower exploding there Flinches Belfry to the ground as she finishes him off with a nice twin shot here As Kiyame takes the very first round from Belfry one of our favorite gladiators in Spring Hook, I guess. So Belfry, what are gonna do to answer the answer Kiame here? The triangle shot there. He dodged it by running past it there. Wuzai on debuff on Belfry at the moment. Look at that. The magic shot. The magic arrow flinch from Kiame. Once again, well done. Reactive bling used well into a triangle shot. But look at that. The triangle shot not quite finding the target as I believe Belfry was too much below Kiame there to actually allow it to hit. A uh, nice anchor shot from Kiyami here to a stunning shot to force the counter exile here, but she got caught by the counter exile as Belfry goes in a, into, I believe, a combo mode here. You can see him do it into a cyclone slash. Oh, look at that. The finishing attack once again dodged beautifully by Kiyami with a nice air evasion timing. But Belfry is still pressing aggressively against Kiyami, but at this time, the triangle shot flinching Belfry as well. And Belfry goes into wall combo mode here. He shows us that he's very good at his combos. Indeed, it is. Air Vision timing once again very well done, the sweep shot timing is good as well to flinch Belfry to the ground but look at that, Belfry not using the big attack and the line drive timing here is very good as I believe the fake shot there was a mistake and the triangle shot there not enough to save Kiyame in the second round. So Kiyame is actually doing fine, I think she needs to work on getting every single one of those triangle shots to flinch Belfry because every one of them that does not hit Belfry will mean that Belfry is actually very close to Kiyami herself and being a sniper, if a gladiator is close to you, it is definitely not good news as they have evasion slash and they have certain skills that can, they have certain super armor that can tank most of their skills. So you can see Belfry pressing extremely close to Kiyami right from the start here, the bit air evasion. Triangle shot this time is good. So well done on Kiyami on this one. A rapid shot there, I'm not too sure if that's the right choice of skills as she got caught by Eclipse here. The reactive blink is used, swift shot nicely used this time once again to go into anchor shot to force the contact exile. But her tumble there just a second too late as she got hit and flinched by the contact exile here as she cannot push her advantage here. But once again a trolling finish attack from Belfry I believe, the Swarmer used just to prevent himself from flinching. His air region is baited, nice aerial combo iframe usage once again as he dodges the triangle shot nicely as well. But look at that, Kiyami has once again pushed her distance extremely far away from Belfry as she has around 41% HP left and Belfry will have to chase her. If not, he will constantly get damaged and get triggered down on the HP. But look at that, second tick on the flower at the moment, the third one. It's gonna explode, the third one. Oh, look at that, charge shot plus the sniper explosion there to bring Belfry down to 10% HP. Kiyami now has 31% HP as Belfry at 8% at the moment, the eclipse into a rising stash from Belfry here to bait the air evasion. She dodges the aerial combo continuation with a nice triangle shot here, but the air region shot not hitting a target as she avoids the, the line drive as well. But again, a trolling cycle slash from Belfry catching her at this moment as it's unfortunate. She's taken down where Belfry has only 4% HP left. So the double explosion from the flower and the charge shot that was about 12k damage or 13 to 14k damage from Kiame there wasn't enough to take Belfry down. He was at 8% HP. But Belfry, even though caught in the anchor shot, got the trolling cyclone slash to find the target of Kiyami as she thought she was in a comfortable position. But right now the seals 8 buff is up. And once again a beautiful magic arrow and a charge shot timing here. So you can see the anchor shot was actually aimed into the air. That was an attempt to actually flinch Belfry here, but she was unfortunate not to be able to hit Belfry in that instance. So that is actually possible. I've actually seen her do that before as well. Look at that, Belfry using the heavy slash to bait the tumble here and then going in with a rising slash here as he presses his advantage here. Fake shot once again used well to dodge finish attack there from Kiyame. But once again, iframe from arrow combo used well by Belfry. But look at that, Belfry gets flinched by a stunning shot there. 
as well. The flower is out at the moment. Swift shot timing is good once again a bit. The counter is out. She backs out with a nice fake shot here. Second tick on the flower at the moment. She's down to 45% HP. Triangle shot needs to find a target. No, it was evaded by a nice vision slash, but that was not good enough. As she's caught by a line drive after the fake shot once again. So doing the fake shot instinctively and Belfry catching the timing to use the line drive is definitely good by him. Uh, will there be enough on Belfry as she's, in, she's getting caught into a combo mode from Belfry at the moment. She's down to 15%, 2% HP after the Eclipse. Swift shot timing here is tanked by the super armor of triple slash once again. Well done by Belfry as he knows what skill has the right super armor to counter the skills of a bow master or sniper here. So this is very similar to Belfry fighting Cryos. Where Cryos has skills that can actually flinch the sword master but as a sword master, you will just need to know exactly what skills can prevent yourself from getting flinched. So provoking slam is one, triple slash up to the second slash is one. And getting to use your aerial combo iframe definitely and front stroke iframe. And gladiators have another evasion slash. So dodging of the charge shot there from Belfry is well done once again. Camera gets caught by aerial combo here, the impact punch not finding a target here. Swift shot timing is good once again to force the counter exile. She gets hit by a counter exile, but she uses a reactive blink to a fake shot here. Extremely well done by Camera once again to keep a distance. Bounty shot as well into a magic arrow here, flinch. Charge shot once again into the face. She knows her charge shot casting animation timing extremely well here. She knows that she can risk it to cast in the face of Belfry, even though Belfry was right in front of him. Oh, look at that. The Belfry debuff even getting. I mean, not the Belfry debuff, the Bullseye debuff even getting on Belfry there. But she's getting caught in a cyclone slash at the moment. Once again, air vision used timely as well. But look at that. The triangle shot there was not finding a target. So she can work on that, I believe. Sweep shot there once again. Avoided with a nice vision slash from Belfry. But into the line draft once again. You can see that she used fake shot to keep her distance. But that wasn't actually necess necessary in a sense. Because that will mean that she'll waste her tumble. And Belfry once again do extremely well to catch that instance where the tumble is forced as she goes in with a line drive to catch her. So the counter exile from Belfry will be enough. No, Belfry with 0% HP left got caught by the anchor shot at the end as Kiyami grabs a second victory with 4% HP left. Definitely thumbs up for her if you haven't guys because for snipers to actually do so well against a, a pro gladiator like Belfry without tracking arrows, I think it's a commendable feat definitely. But definitely she has stuff that can she can improve as well so I believe the score can be better. But Belfry I believe right now seems to be, I don't know, semi trolling mode. He gets caught by an angle shot at the moment, the charge shot cancelled there by a nice moonlight speezer from Belfry. Once again well done by, Bel by Belfry, but once again a fixed shot into a twin shot there, very well done by Kiyame there. As he forces the air evasion, switch shot once again avoided with a nice super message of skills by Belfry. But look at that, Kiyame is still catching Belfry even after he avoids that. He's down to around 65% HP here. Evasion slash into the cyclone slash has avoided triple, I mean multi shot into the face of Belfry here. Well, the wake attack on Belfry is used timely once again to avoid the charge shot, but you can see Belfry's health is trickled down to 41% HP left as he cancels the line, just not too sure if that was a mistake or he knows that actually Kiyame was going to dodge it. Once again, the triangle shot and air shot there is well done by Kiyame. Two ticks on the, the flower at the moment. The explosion here is going to come very soon. Indeed, the explosion catches Belfry here and she knows the explosion was coming as she does. Another twin shot on Belfry, but a big attack timing from Belfry once again used extremely well. The air vision is forced from Kiame here. Vision slash into a flinch to a heavy slash and a rising slash combo mode for Belfry at the moment. Reactive bling used well, but the triangle shot once again very hard to find a target as Belfry is directly below here. The swift shot once again avoided with a nice front shove iframe from Belfry as I believe Kiame is in trouble here. 0% HP from 5% HP with that eclipse from Belfry as it's 4 2. So Belfry at this juncture here. So Belfry adapting very quickly to Kiame's playstyle in this game one. But Kiame definitely doing her best to show us what snipers can do against a gladiator. But I believe if she, if she plays more against Belfry, she will definitely have a better time here because I believe she doesn't actually play against very good gladiators very very often. I mean you can't really find good gladiators very often as well. Front row flinch there. Air vision is forced on Kiame. The swift shot timing is good once again. Because he knows that Belfry has just tumbled and the super armor skills might not be up there. But look at that, Belfry with his own counter attack at the moment here. Nice wall bounce with one normal slash attack here. The reactive bling used well, but the fake shot not flinching Belfry at this juncture. Camus is already down to 50% HP, not looking good for her in this possible game point. Air evasion used as well. And I believe Belfry knows that she's out of options here. As he's having the normal slash and wall bounce, the air vision is back with the triangle shot and air vision shot but not finding a target. Swift shot timing is avoided with a nice vision slash from Belfry into a rising slash. And this game one goes to Belfry. So right now we're going into game two. Oh look at that triangle shot from the start, a trolling triangle shot from Kiame actually hit Belfry there. Extremely well done by her as Belfry gets complacent here. The Swift's 8 buff is up at this game two here. The magic arrow this time not flinching Belfry. Unfortunate there definitely. 
Anchor Shot catching after Belfry has tumbled here. And the Charge Shot even catching Belfry as he tries to use his aerial combo. So Sweep Shot once again very well, used to avoid Eclipse and then forcing the counter exile, I believe. But Belfry counter attacks here to force the aerial vision on Kiame. The triangle Shot not finding a target look, he's sitting on the right side of Belfry there. If he hit there, Kiame will definitely be in a very good position here. But the way attack timing used extremely well. But no, the Charge Shot against the weak attack there is even better from Kiame. And even the Scope Arrow or the Fact Arrow. Hitting Belfry there. Look at that, she avoids the Eclipse there with a nice fake shot here into the switch shot. Flinch here, she fix. She bases the area vision from Belfry, but the shot not finding a target here as Belfry goes in with an impact punch to the face. The area vision from Kelme is forced as she twin shots. Anchor shot is avoided with a nice big attack timing here. The charge shot this time is avoided from Kelme, but a rapid shot to the face from Kelme to Belfry grabs her first duly deserved first round. Definitely well done by Kelme in this round as a type in the spectator chat. L L L on Belfry, definitely. Because Kiame did extremely well in this first round, she baits the first few area evasions to counter exalt the area evasion from Belfry at the start and even finding an anchor shot on Belfry. And then after that, following up with a nice charge shot in the face of Belfry as well. And then taking away Belfry with a rapid shot at the end. As we're going into round 2 at the moment, charge shot has a bit of super armor there to bait, I believe, the impact punch or the impact punch totally missed. But okay, look at that, after the charge shot catching with the anchor shot and even the frag arrow there as Belfry is down to 75% HP. This time, Belfry used. His super armor usage of triple slash well to dodge the super, I mean the swift shot flinch iframe usage. So well done from Belfry in that juncture. As he goes into his cyclone slash trolling combo mode here. Finish attack on cyclone slash, definitely hitting once again. 6000 damage, reactive blink used well into a fixed shot. But that was not good enough as Belfry presses his advantage here. As he runs below Kiame, but the swift shot once again, timing used very well to force the relief here. Fix shot flicks into the twin shot, she avoids the counter exile definitely, but she got caught in the moonlight splitter here. Her charge shot cancelled, she's down to 0% HP. The frag arrow finding Belfry here, will she, will she be enough for a comeback here? Triangle shot needs to flinch, no, he did not flinch because of the arrow combo iframe as Belfry backs up with a front shot of iframe, but the starting shot there as well. The, the angle shot, the flower is out. Oh, but she got caught by a triple slash at the end there. That was just a mini comeback shown by Kiame on Belfry as Belfry is down to 22% in that round. But it was just not enough for Kiame to take down Belfry, even though her comeback was semi set up, but she had 0% HP left after she took like 6000 damage from the Moonlight Splitter, I think, at one juncture. So we're moving to round 3 at the moment. Fake shot used extremely well, but the, once again, the magic arrow there. Unfortunately, not to fringe Belfry. Switch shot timing here is brilliant to force the area vision, but Belfry timing on the area vision is well used to avoid anchor shot as well. Look at that front shove dodging the charge shot as well. Definitely very well done from Belfry with that instinctively used front shove to dodge the charge shot there as he dodges the triangle shot as well. The reactive tumble urgency trick from Kiame is baited. Moonlight Speeder damage as well. Swift shot is this time used a bit too early on the Eclipse here as she, she just barely avoids to dodge the Eclipse with the iframe usage of Swift shot as Belfry is pushing his advantage here. Reactive bling is used. As Belfry goes in strong with a nice front show, oh, I think Kiame is in trouble right now. As Belfry goes into combo mode with the one normal slash off the wall bounce here, into provoking slam and the Moonlight Speeder there. Look at that, 2.4k Moonlight Speeder there. I believe Belfry has maybe at least level 6 or level 11 Moonlight Speeder. I think that's his trolling PvP build for his Gladiator. I won't say it's a trolling PvP build, but yeah. It's a PvP build with very high level Moonlight Speeder. So into the fourth round right now, twin shot, finding a target once again, we know that Kiame is pretty accurate here, but a fake shot not quite finding a target, and the evasion slash this time used by Belfry is used well, but got caught by anchor shot into a triangle shot flinch. Look at that, avoiding the Eclipse there with a nice swift shot once again, she knows that Belfry is using Eclipse there to in initiate all his combos, and with the Eclipse debuff, he can actually use his rising slash more aptly because he has some super armor debuff on the Eclipse at the moment, though he's actually been nerfed. Reactive, bl reactive blink is baited, but look at that. A nice multi shot to the face here, but the way attack timing from Belfry is used well. But look at that, the scope arrow. No, that was rapid shot to flinch, but the swift shot is baited from Kiame here as she even avoids the eclipse with triangle shot this time. So, very good iframe usage of skills from Kiame once again, as we've seen. And the 11,000 charge shot there on Belfry is brilliant. And the line drive couldn't even be used before she takes Belfry down, I believe, with the third normal attack from the longbow. So, you can shoot two shots, and the last shot will actually do a decent damage there. And Kiame there did extremely well to even get that shot to land so thumbs up for her definitely so the score is 2-2 right now as Belfry presses on the suicide buffs up he gets hit by the boo eye debuff here the air region is forced 
Angle shot this time is good as well. Triangle shot. Oh, hitting after the tumble. That was a bit too early for Buffy to tumble, but he avoids the charge shot there, which is the one that he hit should avoid. Two shot timing here once again used very well. Avoids the, the counter exile this time. Reactive bling used, but look at that, the fake shot didn't quite match the flinch Balfrey. The multi shot on the face after the dash slash was coming, and once again, a very nice angle shot here. But the Moonlight Speeder preventing the charge shot damage here, but Balfrey is racking up a lot more damage here. He's down to 15% HP. A scope arrow once again dodged with a nice big attack timing here, but will it be enough for Balfrey here as he's down to 11% HP? He seems to be pinned down at this moment here. Reactive bling used well, but look at that, triangle shot airframe used well to dodge line drive once again from Kiame. Top notch and top class from Kiame once again. But she'll caught in a combo mode of Belfry here. But will it be enough from Belfry? And she still have 45% HP left. Fake shot, flinch, little twin shot, air vision is baited, anchor shot, border with a nice front shove iframe. But that was not enough as both front shove iframe and tumble was baited from Belfry as she do once again. I mean, she does once again a charge shot to the face of Belfry to grab the third round. Are we going to see game 3 here? From Kiame winning this game 2, not too sure. Will Belfry let that happen? I'm sure he will not as he wants to show all his gladiator fans that gladiator can do well against sniper. And that punch to the face right at the start was not quite there. Look at that charge shot after evasion here, but anchor shot is provided with a nice contact exile timing here. Swift shot is dodged with a nice evasion slash and front throw usage of iframe. Nice little trickling down the HP of Kiami here. She's down to 70% HP. Charge shot to the face of Belfry once again, down to 50% HP as she avoids the ankle shot here. Evasion slash used instinctively, you know, he get hit by the tranker shot as the evasion slash was used too early. But Eclipse on the switch shot this time, unfortunate for Kami once again as she could have dodged that one if it was just one second later, I believe, or earlier. Not too sure, but look at that. Belfry, two sidekicks into the rising slash here as the evasion is blatant. Evasion slash avoided with a nice fake shot from Kami once again, but she's down to 21%, 80% HP not right now. As she's caught by a front row flinch here, not looking good as, as Belfry goes into two sidekicks here. Get hit by a multi shot here by his. But look at that, Kami down to 6% HP. She avoids the counter exile, but got hit by the Moonlight Splitter. Oh, that was unfortunate for Kiame there. As Belfry with 25% HP managed to bring the score back to level, which is 3 3. So I believe she had some good moments in that previous round there, but it was not enough against Belfry. As Belfry once again very well done with the distance, gauging with his sidekicks. That is definitely thumbs up for him. Get hit by a magic arrow from the start, flinch. Rapid shot to anchor shot once again, well done for Kiame here. As the fake shot flinch to rack up more damage on Belfry. Charge shot avoided with a nice vision slash after the eclipse here. I think Kiame is in trouble right now. The evasion is baited. Nice heavy slash to catch Kiame after she lands. As Belfry goes in the combo mode, look at that. Three sidekicks in the rising slash here at the sweeping kick at the end as well. As Belfry activates his combo mode. Reactive Blink is baited here, his own air evasion is baited. Look at that, air evasion, I mean, air combo, iframe used well to go into a clip safely there to avoid the swift shot once again. But look at that, Kiame is down to 9% HP. The line drive is actually used when he was caught in an ankle shot there, that was a pretty funny moment for me at least. Not too sure if you guys had a, had a green there. But Kiame is down to 9% HP, she's not in good position, she avoids the impact punch, but got caught by a triple slasher. And the Moonlight Splitter, the third slash as Belfry drag shots that Moonlight Splitter like a CS Pro player onto Kiame as he grabs his fourth victory here in round 7. You can see the spectators are all seemingly cheering for Kiame here. Of course, we all know Belfry seems to be trolling here. No, just kidding. Belfry is definitely putting up a good show for us, and I believe Kiame as well. The Bullseye debuff hitting Belfry right from the start, that is definitely very important here. Dash slash and evasion slash, a bit of reactive tumble here. Triangle shot this time finding a target, a bit of the complex out as well, but unfortunate eclipse stun here from Belfry. My goodness, the air evasion here. Swift shot timing once again, look at that. The rising slash with the eclipse debuff here can be used more safely as I was mentioning earlier on. Once eclipse hits the sniper here, Belfry can use the rising slash in a more risky manner here, and that actually paid off as well. But she avoids the evasion slash with a nice triangle shot iframe once again, but will it be enough? She's down to 25% HP here, 20% right now. And even the Eclipse as well, she's down to 15% HP as Belfry chases with the Rising Slash. Oh my goodness, the Aerial Vision catching after the Aerial Combo there from Belfry. It's unfortunate, she's down to 5% HP, Swift Shot is forced. And Belfry avoids the Swift Shot with a nice Evasion Slash here into a Dash Slash to take away the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this show match between Belfry and Kiame here. So is it Kiame or, or Kiame? Tell me which one you guys like, because I think KYA is actually just Kia. Yeah. 
So remember to give them a thumbs up for this video to show them your support and subscribe to T Gaming to know all the show matches or other videos that we upload almost every day. So once again, thanks for watching. God bless. Check out her previous show match between her and Starkey if you haven't. So yeah, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, and I believe the comment for oh that was eleven thousand damage to the bait. So area vision here, but Starkey didn't quite manage to push on his advantage. Here. He got caught by another charge shot. And the rapid shot as well. A nice one blast into normal attack here once again. The three poison pool as it traps Kayami. I believe the knife is laser flinching as well. The gravity spark not finding his target as Kayami rolls backwards here to buy enough time, I believe. But look at that. Kayami only has 56% HP. The void blast not finding a target here. Starkey avoids the charge shot there. He goes in with a nice hammer strike here. And gravity gravity ball EX. Oh, look at that. Switch gravity timing here is brilliant. But look at Kayami there with a nice triangle shot iframe. Totally dodging the gravity, you know, the switch gravity there by Starkey. And the